Hi everyone. We are the students of Shri GS Institute of Technology and Science Indore. Here we are explaining the design concept of our project, automated security and rider safety system for two wheelers. Our entire system is divided mainly into three modules. First one is the helmet module. The second one is the anti-theft security module, and the third one is the accident location tracer module. The helmet module consists of an alcohol sensor MQ303A and an IR sensor. For the signal conditioning of the alcohol sensor, we have used the Texas Instruments LM324 general purpose quad op amp. The output from these sensors are logically modified by the Texas Instruments 7404 and 7408 ICs, which is then further transmitted to the receiving end by the HD12V encoder IC and a 433 MHz RF transmitter. These RF transmitter will perform the action to turn on or off the ignition system of the vehicle according to the condition of the rider. Suppose if the output of any sensor is high, that is, if the rider has not worn the helmet or he is drunk, then the ignition system of the vehicle will be. Here we have combined the anti-theft security unit and accident location tracer unit together. It is having switch mode power supply based on Texas Instrument TPS5430 buck converter. The main component used in our anti-theft security unit are the Texas Instruments TPS5430 buck converter, which is present on the back side of this PCB, MSP430 G2553 microcontroller for checking the password, which is encrypted from the numpad and 16 cross 2 LCD. In the accident location tracer unit, we have used Royal Tech's GPS module and Simcom's Sim900A GSM modem for sending the exact location of the bike. We have also used the pressure pads for sensing the impact on vehicle, and the signal conditioning of this is done by Texas Instruments LM324 and 7432 ICs. The module also includes the Texas Instruments CD4066 analog switching IC and HD12D decoder IC along with 433 megahertz receiver for communicating this unit with the helmet module. Initially, the bike's ignition system is off. Which is indicated by the turned-off state of red LED. It is because the rider's head is not present inside the helmet. Now, suppose the driver wears the helmet. This red LED should turn on to indicate that the ignition system is turned off. Now, if we put our hand inside the helmet, which is analogous to the insertion of rider's head inside the helmet, this red LED should turn on, indicating that the rider has worn helmet. It is due to the RF communication between the receiver's end and transmitter's end. Now. If a driver is already present inside the helmet but is drunk, the ignition system should turn off again. Here we are having this alcohol dipped cotton bud with us. Uh, so if we put this bud inside the helmet, then according to our system's logic, this red LED should be turned off, which is indicated by the glowing off of red LED. LED. This is the demonstration of the anti-theft security and accident location tracer unit. In this unit, we have used two pressure pads. One is mounted at the handle of the vehicle, and the other being mounted at the particular place of the vehicle, so that if the vehicle got crashed, it got pressed. Here, in the anti-theft security module, uh, the LCD is asking for a password in the LCD screen. Now, if we enter the right password, which is one, two. Three and four through the numpad, the microcontroller will toggle the system protection from theft by switching. Now, if the protection is turned on by entering the right password, then upon receiving an interrupt from the hand pressure pad, the microcontroller will send the SOS text message to the owner that the vehicle is in trouble. This message will include the necessary details such as the GPS location, data, and time of the incident. As you can see over here, we have received a message that is giving us the Google Map link of the location of this crash site. Now, this case is used when the rider will park its vehicle at any place. Now, if we want to, uh, then if we want to turn off the protection of our system, then by entering the right password, which is one, two, three, and four. There will be no interrupt generated from the hand pressure pad as its power supply is turned off by the CD4066 switching IC. This case is useful if the rider is riding the vehicle. Now, if someone try to enter the wrong password, the LCD screen will show the wrong password. Suppose if we are entering the wrong password such as one, two, 
3 and 6 then there will be wrong password written on the LCD. We are having one more pressure pad which is used as a shock sensor and will always be turned on. It's performing the same functionality that uh, upon receiving an interrupt when it is pressed then this will again send the same SOS text message including the necessary details such as the Google map link location of the crash site.